Google had a wonderful I.O. 25 yesterday. So many innovations to cover. What I am excited about is VO3. So Google has introduced VO3 uh, with native audio generation. So quality is up from VO2. You can add dialogue between characters, sound effects, background noise. VO3 is available in the Gemini app for Google AI Ultra subscribers in the US. So this is a video which has been generated with wild untamed might. And she commands your awe with every breaking light. This ocean, it's a force, a wild untamed might. And she commands your awe. It is becoming increasingly difficult to differentiate between AI generated video versus human generated video. This is very realistic. The audio is fantastic. So this is VO3, which is available on Google Ultra subscription. So VO3 lets you add sound effects, ambient noise, and even dialogue to your creations, generating all audio natively. It also delivers best in class quality, excelling in physics, realism, and prompt adherence. So here are some videos which have been generated using VO3. So this is a prompt, a follow-up shot of a wise old owl high in the air peeking through peeking through the clouds in a moonlit sky above forest. So here is the prompt and this is the video which has been generated. So you have the detailed prompt over here. Let's look the audio as well. They left behind a, a ball today. It bounced higher than I can jump. What manner of magic is that? This video is amazing with the audio effects and everything. So you can also uh, try out VO3 in their video editor tool or video creation tool called Flow. Google has introduced a diffusion model. Uh, there, uh, It's known as Gemini Diffusion. This is a state of our text diffusion model. So instead of predicting text directly, it learns to generate outputs by refining noise step by step. So this helps it excel at coding and math where it can iterate over solutions quickly. They say this model is five times faster than their fastest model, which is Gemini 2.0 flash light. And the demo was really impressive. So this is a prompt. Ready, go. If you you can see how fast it generated the output. So this is real time output, right? Uh, so this is an amazing model. I think probably you will get more better diffusion uh, text diffusion models in the future. So this is an interesting step towards uh, you know state of art text diffusion models. Google introduced Jules, which is an asynchronous coding agent. Now this coding assistant integrates directly into your existing repositories. It clones your code base into a secure Google Cloud virtual machine, understands the full context of your projects and performs tasks such as writing tests, building new features, providing audio change logs, fixing bugs, bumping dependency version, it operates asynchronously, so you can focus on other tasks while it works on background. Upon completion, it presents its plan, reasoning, and a diff of changes made. Jules is private by default. It doesn't train on your private code, and your data stays isolated within the execution environment. This is currently available on public beta uh, with uh, limits, right? So you can go and check out Jules. Google Meet now has live translation capabilities just look at this particular demo speak the language let's take a look hi camilla let me turn on speech translation it's nice to finally talk to you es bueno hablarte finalmente no puedo esperar a alquilar tu casa te vas a divertir mucho y creo que te va a encantar you're gonna have a lot of fun and i think you're gonna love visiting the city the house is in a very nice neighborhood and overlooks the mountains. That sounds wonderful. Is the house Eso suena maravilloso. ¿Es la casa cercana al transporte público o recomiendas alquilar un coche? 
There's a bus nearby, but I would recommend rent. So this is amazing. So you can speak to anybody. Their languages may be different. So you can use uh, auto translate real time to translate to your language, right? And you get the audio in your language. So this is amazing. So Google has launched DeepThink in 2.5 Pro, in Gemini 2.5 Pro. It's a new enhanced reasoning mode using research in parallel thinking techniques. It can explore multiple hypotheses before responding. So this enables it to handle incredibly complex math and coding problems more effectively. Now this feature is available to a set of safety experts and over coming weeks they will share it with trusted users via Gemini API. So this gets an impressive 2025 USAMO, currently one of the hardest math benchmarks. So it gets the highest score over there. It also leads on live code bench, a difficult benchmark for coding and scores 84.0% on triple MU, which tests multimodal reasoning. Google DeepMind introduced project Astra. Uh, so project Astra was a research prototype exploring capabilities for a universal AI assistant. Now it is becoming even better with improved voice output, memory and computer control. So it can be more personalized and proactive. So here is a demo video of that. I'm here with the latest research prototype of Project Astra. And we're going to see how it can help me fix my bike. Hey, go online and look for a user's manual for a Huffy mountain bike. I have found a user manual for you. What would you like to know about it? Okay, cool. Now scroll until you find the section about the brakes. Sure thing. Looking for that page now. I think I stripped this screw. Can you go on YouTube and find a video for how to fix that? Of course. I'm opening YouTube now. This looks like a good video. Place a rubber band over the head of the screw. Oh, nice. Press down nice. Firm. Can you go through my emails with the bike shop and find which size hex nut I need? Sure. According to the email from Bicycle Habitat, you need a 3 8 inch hex nut for your sprocket. I've highlighted the correct bin for you. It seems like I need a spare tension screw. Can you finish what you were saying? As I was saying, if you look on page 24, section 2, comment. Here are some options. I think Zuka would look really great in these. Here are they have your tension screw in stock. Would you like me to... So this demo is actually amazing of how you can use Project Astra, which is an universal AI assistant in your day-to-day -day activities and how it can help you. Google also introduced Stitch, which is an UI design tool with the help of AI. So in this tool, you can use AI to do a lot of things. You can do easy adjustments to the UI. You can export code. You can own your design you can build with gemini so this is a particular tool for ui design ui creation and it is available now free of charge google also introduced imagen 4 which is capable of creating richer images with more nuanced colors intricate details and superior typography so these are some of the samples which have been generated with imagen 4 so imagen 4 can capture specific elements from your prompt for example over here the bristly fur of a capybara brush strokes on a canvas right reflection on bubbles delicate crystal surfaces you can create comics packaging styled stamps and more okay so this is imagen 4 uh, they'll be soon launching a variant of imagen 4 that is up to 10 times faster than imagen 3 so you can try imagen 4 in gemini app and whisk which is a google labs experiment that brings text prompts and images together to visualize your ideas. Google has introduced this new Ultra plan, which uh, Google AI Ultra. So this plan costs $250 per month, where you get access to Gemini app with 2.5 Pro DeepThink and VO3. You get Flow with VO3. You get Whisk with highest limits. You get Notebook LM with highest limits. You get Gemini in Gmail and other apps. You get Gemini in Chrome. You get access to Project Mariner, YouTube Premium, and 30 terabytes of storage. And this plan is available in US today and it will roll out to other countries soon. 
In Google AI Pro plan, which costs $20 per month, you get access to Gemini app with 2.5 Pro and VO2. You get Flow with VO2, Whisk with VO2, Notebook LM with higher limits, Gemini in Google Apps, Gemini in Chrome and, you know, uh, two terabytes of storage and they have some things like Gemini in Chrome and say flow with VO2 with uh, I think flow with VO2 only in the US today it is available in US today and probably it will roll out to other countries in the future so these were some highlights from Google IO 25 keynote uh, so the exciting things are VO3 Jules which is their coding agent which is a you know which is a competitor to OpenAI Codex right uh, the diffusion model i'm very impressed with the gemini diffusion model uh, image and four the ui creation uh, tool stitch right so these were some of the highlights of google io 25 keynote and google is on its way to capture the crown in the ai world 